What is up, guys? It's Whatever here with our week two of the APA Academy versus Tyler and the New York Cosmogs. Now, this was a very uh, hype match because I've known Tyler for a while. Like, uh, one of my first leagues was with him, so, like, it's pretty cool to, you know, be in this place with him and be able to play him like this. But the main reason was because I was really upset about my loss last week, you know? Losing that sweet coon, I was like, okay, I have to win week two. I have to, like, you know, just for like, just for myself. Um, so I really went all in with the prep and thought I really had a really good uh, uh, team here for it. Uh, now his team's gonna be over here on the right, and it's gonna be like, you know, Celestia, uh, uh, Mega Altaria. It's a pretty fat team, especially with like Hippo and Roserade and all that. He ended up bringing all of those, and it's gonna proved to be a very interesting battle, but uh, let's get in the team that I brought. So, first we got our Galvantula lead. It's going to be our Sash with Sticky Web. He has no defog other than Altaria and Talonflame. If he is defog Altaria, that means he's not set up, etc, etc. And defog Talonflame is the best set ever. Uh, if he wants to do that, he can do that. I wouldn't uh, be upset with that because I have just a fat aloe here. It's going to help with that. Uh, it's basically just max defense, really there for the setup of uh, Altaria, Terrakion, uh, Zygarde, uh, etc. Uh, but yeah, so we have our Fizdef, Aloe, super simple, don't need to go into that. But I have uh, Galvantula's lead, Volt Switch, Thunder, just to hit that Celestila because it's scary. And then Energy Ball for the Hippo. Then we got our Breaker set this week, which is going to be our Megazard X Azula with SD Thunder Punch Dragon Claw Flare Blitz. Now, the main reason I have I have SD is because I after webs, uh, since he doesn't have that good removal, I thought webs are going to be up the whole time. After webs, I could set up an SD, and I could just punch holes, literally anything, just it's taken. Um, the only thing is, like, uh, Fizz Death Hippo is going to be taking, like, maybe one or two, uh, not, I think it's gonna, it takes two Flare Blitzes before the SD. Uh, but after the SD, that thing's, that thing's getting blown, just a huge chunk. But I have Thunder Punch here, uh, basically another form to hit Celesteela. Uh, the main reason, I know I have Flare Blitz and all, but... Uh, I just wanted him to not be able to bring uh, something in on this. I wanted to get damage off regardless uh, because I really wanted to punch holes with this thing. Um, let's see. Next we have our Deciduum Z Decidui. Now, SD, Brave Bird, Leaf Blade, Spirit Shackle. This thing is so good in this matchup. It literally just... 6 0. Literally from, from the get go, get an SD up, webs are up. Oh, it's it's not looking so good. Like, he has. Like, his main things that could outspeed this are Terrakion and, like, Zygarde. And what are they going to do with this thing? Like, Terrakion's going to hit it with a, a pretty hard, you know, uh, Stone Edge, but, you know, you run the risk of missing that. And really, this thing just does work. Uh, Z Spirit Shackle is just going to hit his entire team uh, super hard. Then we got Leaf Blade for that Hippo and the Rock types, everything like that. We got Brave Bird for the Roserade. And then just SD to set up on them. Uh, then next set, we had our Ditto. You know, simple Ditto, Transform and all that stuff. Uh, max speed, just to make sure we outspeed everything. And yeah, pretty simple ditto. I just wanted to make sure that any setup that he had was countered because I was kind of afraid of setup uh, Mega Altaria or or Celestila to an extent. But I was more worried about the uh, Altaria, even the even the Zygarde really. Double Dance, uh, you know, Terrakion could have been a thing. All that stuff. I just really wanted to counter for that. Um, and then our last set is going to be our Shuka Jirachi, and this thing is our lure. Uh, with enough uh, to live, I think flamethrowers, uh, you know, fire blasts, 
and earthquakes from like Celestela, from uh, Megaltaria, etc. etc. Basically, this thing is going to go in, click Calm Mind once, and then just start chunking teams because I just wanted some chip off. So then, uh, one of my later sweepers basically, my whole plan was to have Azula and Star Lord here just kind of poke holes. Uh, Star Lord was kind of lured trying to get that Mega Altari out the way. Uh, to have Decidueye come in, clean up. And then if need be, have the Ditto come in and just, you know, copy whatever and get them out of there. But yeah, so this thing has coverage for everything. It's got T-Bolt for Silly uh, Hippo, and then we have the Altaria. Uh, no Psychic Stab, but Flash Cannon, like, still hits really hard, especially after, like, plus one boost. And so yeah, that's my team. So let's go ahead and get into the battle here. So as you can see, he brought Hippo, Tarak, Rose Raid, Celesteela, Zygarde, and that Mega Altaria. Uh, uh, I decided, you know, I had my lead already in Galvantula, so we're just going to start that up and get into this. Here we go with Tyler. He is going to lead off with his Hippo. And I thought, okay, that definitely just like nullifies my Focus Sash here. But, you know, I figured webs were super important in this game, so I was going to do it no matter what. Uh, so I do click webs first turn, and then basically the big question was, what do I, do I switch out? Because I have aloe that could really take this on. Or do I try to get some chip off on this thing? Because this is a real fat boy, I'm, I'm sure. This has got to be his Zard check because nothing else on his team takes a hit defensively. Uh, so I figured I'd just go for the energy ball, try to get some damage off, as he goes into his Mega Altaria. Now, this thing is going to take maybe 5% from that, uh, and it does absolutely nothing. One thing I do see, I'm faster, of course, uh, but I figured he's going to Mega Evolve, and I was like, I'm just going to Volt Switch out. If he is defog, it will save my Galvantula, and I was just going to try to, if he wants to set up, I can go, I'm going into uh, Jirachi to lure, and if he sets up, then he can definitely take this Flash Cannon, but right here, go into our Jirachi, and then I see he's Hyper Voice, so that immediately tells me he's got to be bulky. I am pretty sure he had, he'd have defog on this one. Because Hyper Voice is more of a general hit everything hard. And so I know he's not set up. I figured he would be more of a bulky alt area. Um, I do go for the Flash Cannon straight off the bat. Hit this uh, Celesteela. Quite a lot of damage, actually. Uh, I was surprised of how much this actually did. Uh, I do get the Swedef drop. And I did not want this Celesteela to uh, set up either. So I go straight for the T-Bolt right into the hippo. Um, basically I really I just really didn't want Celesteela setting up uh, with the spadef dr drop. Uh, I probably I would have killed with T-Bolt so in case he was a weakness policy set anything like that it would have nullified that and I would have just gotten the kill. I go into my aloe here just to you know take whatever this hippo is going to give me and he whirlwinds me right back out into Galvantula. Now at this point I was like okay uh, I'm already low, uh, I think he has defog on that Mega Altaria, but webs are already up, he already Mega Vault, so I'm just going to get some damage off on this Hippo. If he whirlwinds me out, um, then so be it, but I want to get some chip off first, because it, this is the one thing that takes uh, Flare, Brit, Flare Blitz from uh, Zard right now. So then I go into my Decidueye, and I was like, okay. This is time. Um, he's not going to whirlwind. He definitely won't think that. He's definitely just going to go into one of his more defensive mons in Celesteela or Mega Altaria. And he goes into Mega Altaria. And I'm like, okay, this is it. This was time. Uh, set up that SD. Now, here is a decision that, you know, I'm kind of iffy on. Like, for the longest time, I went down to like five seconds on this timer. Because I didn't know if I should Z this or the Celesteela. 
I knew I did not kill Celesteela, depending on its bulk, if it had, like, any HP, really. Just because that thing is so bulky. Uh, but, uh, basically, I decided to Z this because I wanted to get this done, out the way, killed. I just needed to get a kill. Um, he showed Hyper Voice earlier, so I figured it was going to be more of a bulky set. Turns out he was. If I did not Z, it was a roll in his favor because he was very bulky defensively. He goes out into Celesteela. I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. I'll just get some huge chip off on this thing. So I go for the Spirit Shackle, and no, it does not kill. Not yet. Heavy slams me and does probably 70% to so much. Brings me right down to red. Uh, I go for the Spirit Shackle again just to get the kill. And then well, I'm like, I'm in a pretty good position. Like, I really... I got two of his biggest threats out the way, and he brings in his Terrakion. I'm like, okay, cool. I outspeed. It didn't, uh, you know, I didn't think. I was like, oh, he's scarfed. I was like, oh, good to know. So I eat this earthquake. And by that, I mean I don't eat it. I die. Uh, but then I was like, okay, he's scarfed. He's, you know, he's got a... He's got probably like Earthquake, Close Combat, Stone Edge, something like that. I go into my Fish Sticks because he can eat all of that. And I just go for a Scald. I was like, hey, if he wants to go into Rose Raid, he can like take this burn, you know, etc, etc. And so I just go for that Scald. And I know since I have Toxic, I cannot touch this thing. Cannot touch it one bit. But I know who can, and that is Rose Raid. Uh, whatever it wants to do, it can do right back to itself. Uh, so I go right back out into my Ditto. And right here is the big oof. Now you see I did not transform. If you saw my team builder, I was limber. Uh, both me and my Jenner did not catch it. And it's really on me. Like I should have checked my team beforehand. Like there's no, there's no excuse. But I go out into my Ditto and he subs up. Now, if he was not behind a sub, or if he, he if he subs up this turn, I'm already as Rosa Raid uh, because of Imposter. I would be able to, you know, sludge bomb him and break the sub. If he wants to attack me, uh, I don't think it would kill. But I just wanted to make it so uh, I really just uh, what is it? I, I really just wanted to break the sub. If he killed me, I would die, I would go into Zard, and I would get a big hit off of something. Now, if he decides to switch out after, uh, instead of attacking and trying to kill me, then I would be able to save this Ditto for, you know, possibly Zygarde or Terrakion, just to kind of counter uh, sweep his team, because... At this point, he's got Hippo, that's at like 50%. We got this thing, which is not going to take an EQ or, you know, 1,000 arrows or anything. And this, like, I would have been able to, at least been in a better position, because right now, he can just, he subs up, so he can just get a free hit on anything. And I don't really have a whole lot left for this. I have basically my Zard, which outspeeds, and then my uh, Jirachi, which literally was uh, already damaged so I am just gonna you know sit here cry inside uh, all around me are familiar faces go into the Jirachi I was like okay I have to break the sub this thing is a threat now because of my miss prep uh, my miss gen all that stuff so he goes for the Giga Drain doesn't do a whole lot and I figured I was like wow okay I Definitely just want to calm mind up because if Giga Drain is what he has to hit me, I was figuring maybe he's a sub, you know, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, and I was figuring either it was going to be like spikes or toxic spikes uh, for that aloe and all that stuff. So he does show Hidden Power Ground though, and pops my Shuka. It's like, okay, it's like at least I outspeed. I ate that because of the calm mind. I have a little hiccup here with the recording, but it's back. And now we are here, and we are going to break this sub. 
Now, if I had Imposter, this sub would have already been broken. I would have been able to eat one. He wouldn't have been able to sub up in my face as a Durachi. Uh, like, I just feel like the end game was very, very different if I had Imposter. Uh, but now that I didn't, I didn't really have a good check to his Scarf Terrakion. Uh, I don't know exactly the Zygarde set yet, but in ca unless that was Scarfed as well, like, Scarf Terrak really just hurt his team with itself, you know? But right now, I was kind of tilted. I could have just Dragon Clawed, probably would have done a decent chunk and gotten the Rose Raid out of there. Because basically the Rose Raid is the only thing stopping Aloe from winning. Because it can eat everything from Zygarde, it can eat everything from Hippo, it can eat everything from Terrakion, and just sit in its face and just wish up. Um, but I do go for the Flare Blitz, I was like, I just kind of wanted to get some damage. I was like, if he goes into Terrakion, uh, this would kill. If he wants to go into Zygarde, it would have done a decent chunk. And then I just kill it off with the Dragon Claw. At this point, I was like, okay, I really just can't win. Because, like I said, if without my Ditto, there's nothing for me stopping this thing from just clicking buttons. Um, and every time I go into my Aloe, he's just going to go into his Roserade, and it's like it, there's nothing I can do. Um, I did want to go into Aloe here just to kind of save it, maybe... I was thinking about timer stalling, but we were way too far away, and there was so clearly a matchup that I lost. Uh, but, you know, can't do anything about it now. Uh, definitely, I definitely double, triple checked all of my teams for all my remaining matches. Uh, we're like in week four or five right now, but uh, really just on me again. That's week one, that's week two. And I am, I'm tilted. I was, I was really pissed off at myself because I know I could do better than this. You know, this team is actually, I really kind of like this team. It's weird, and it was kind of weird perfectly for me. Um, but I really was upset with myself, so, you know, I'm not going to go too far in on that. But I really focused on my prep for my next few matches. Uh, like as you can see here, I can't I can't do anything to this Rose Raid. Like it's I just get the Scald Burn. That's all I can do. He subs up. He's just gonna Giga Drain and kill me. Uh, that's gonna be the rest of the game really because Ditto can't do anything. Uh, Zard dies on rocks. That's gonna be the game. Uh, so it was, it was a GG. I feel like I really had that early game going for me, uh, especially with that Decidueye, you know, killing the two top things. Um, but then. It kind of all went downhill for me once Ditto didn't have its uh, ability. Now he says it's like it didn't really matter because he had you know he had checks to his own uh, Pokemon. Like he said he would have kept Pippo alive if I ever traced the track, but I feel like there would have been so many more different plays made if that was Imposter that it. We, we don't really know. Like, I feel like I would have had a way better chance if I did have that. But since not, you know, I can't do anything about it now. Uh, so, like I said, GG to Tyler. Really cool uh, that we're both here together again. Uh, like I said, we were in one of the leagues, first leagues together. Um, but yeah, I'm going to lose here. It's going to be 0-2 for us, which is not a great start. Um, I do want to make playoffs because I just feel like that playoff roster would be so much fun. But 0-2, not the best start. We really need to win our next few games. And it's just, it's going to be a rough season ahead of us uh, because we had this rocky start. Uh, so, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will have week three up probably in a, another few days. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys. Peace out.